Welcome everybody to the Nerd Fan Club. Today, guys, we're going to be talking about and reacting to the DC fandom. We're going to go over a lot of the panels, a lot of those um, those videos, a lot of those trailers. We're going to share our thoughts. We have a movie that I am, um, I'm not going to say I'm hesitant. Um, on a scale of one to five, uh, Brent and, and Martin, hold up to the camera. A scale of one to five. How excited are you about Wonder Woman 1984? I'm at a two. We got two three. and threes. Okay. Cheetah actually looked pretty cool. I wish they made her a little buffer. I mean, she just looks like she looks like Wonder Woman's gonna kick her butt. Like she doesn't look like a threat to a golden armored Wonder Woman. And then she's like swinging from lightning, which is like what? I mean, that's a little okay. On scale of one to five, your anticipation for the Batman. On scale of one to five. Dope. Dope. Why? <laughs> Give me more than dope. Dope. Why? <laughs> what made what? It's dope. What's the difference between that trailer and recommend. the Wonder Woman trailer we just watched? Dope. Why? There's a lot more interesting stuff that's going on over here. Like the Riddler, that's a character that like, look at you. Like, okay, a lot of people look at Riddler as like, oh, he's just a goofy like, whatever, kind of like Silver Age. Um, I blame Joker. Jim Carrey for that though. <laughs> you did was, a great job. There's a reason a very, why like, I got this jacket in that color. I still like Jim Carrey like that, which is okay, can't be whatever. But like everybody just like, all right, Riddler's just whatever. And now this one makes it look like he's more of like a terrorist kind of threat, which I always like in movies. What do you think about Batman? He's not he's not big bulky like we're used to. Did you not see him beat that dude <laughs> <laughs> to smithereens? Like it don't matter. I just feel His like those last, really those dope. last just four looks, punches were unnecessary. Well, yeah, he well, could have done that, like, and that's just a power move right there. <laughs> yeah, man, that's the thing. What I, what I will vengeance. say has me excited about this Batman is that it seems as if they're leaning into Batman's true power being fear. Let's get into the infamous, downright notorious, downright, uh, you know, divisive the Snyder Cut. Is the the Snyder Cut going to undo the injustice that was the original Justice League that Josh Whedon put out? No, I don't. I don't think. I don't think anything can undo it. It could lessen the pain, right. mm -hmm. but but it happened. It's still on DVD. I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna leave it mm -hmm. alone. When they're fighting, uh, <laughs> what was it? Doomsday and. Um, and then all they're fighting, and all of a sudden, Lois goes, oh, the trident. With no story, nobody explains why she thinks that'll work. Nobody explains why. 
Oh, I mean the spear, whatever. Nobody, nobody explains why she thinks that's a good idea. And then she almost freaking drowned trying to get it. It was just, it was just weird. Was- <laughs> All right, next up is going to be, um, I'll put it this way: It's just smell. What the rock is cooking? I did a test right now because, like, I know that's uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. But I did a little test. I closed my eyes, and I feel like I'm being threatened. Because <laughs> <laughs> Dwayne is Dwayne is such a good person, and like, I think the only like other villain role he played was like in Scorpion King, which I haven't mm-hmm. seen in a long time. So it's just like, oh, he's doing Classic. this, and when I saw the trailer, I'm just like, he sounds really scary. And so I kind of close my eyes and just like, yeah, he's going to whoop me to dust. Oh, man. True confessions, guys. Um, When we started, you know, CR for supervillains or cosplay for Christ, uh, the villain that I originally wanted to do, believe it or not, was Black Adam. When I found out The Rock was going to play him, it was perfect. Because as you guys pointed out, Black Adam is an anti-hero. And The Rock, when he was big on... Oh, he was. He was. That's so true. When he, when he turned heel. Oh, oh, man. Heel so cool. When he He was was one of the coolest heels. Those were his best, you know, microphone performances. I mean, Mm. the song where he made fun of Sacramento, making fun of Vicky Guerrero because she was fat, making fun of Triple H's wife because she was... (laughs) <laughs> making fun of you know the mcmahon's i mean yeah, ma'am. You know. if anybody if anybody was a better troll than than stone cold it was the rock i definitely smell what black adam is cooking definitely yeah, ma'am. i mean it's one of those times where i'm like kill the hero i want the villain to win <laughs> it'd be like that There's, this one is called the suicide squad kill the Justice, Justice League. League. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. That there's no way the Suicide Squad could ever kill Superman. I don't know. There's absolutely zero way. It takes four idiots. <laughs> it's gonna yeah. be it's gonna be me, Brent, Ian, and whoever else gonna rip Superman to shreds. I think they're keeping it very simple with just the Suicide Squad. Off the walls like Psycho, um, Harley Quinn. You got your sneaky assassin Boomerang. You have your assault combatant Deadshot, and you have your tank, King Shark. Let's finish off with a bang. We have one more game trailer. This one I'm a little more excited about than Suicide. No, let's tell the truth. Oh, I'm, a okay. lot, I'm a, I'm a okay. lot more excited. Oh, okay. No, I know what you're talking about. Okay, yeah. Let's right. get you into right. not Gotham Days, but Gotham Nights.
this right here is going to change everything. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm thinking um, I'm going to have to get a PS5. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to buy um, you know, both of these games as well as, you know. Are, are, are these both PS5 exclusive? Most likely. No idea, but I'm a PS, you know, PlayStation kind of guy. So that's. Got it, got it, got it. So the one last thing was, man, thank you, Brent, for your leadership, man, and leaning into the space. Thank you, Martin, for joining us. Uh, I just thought about it, man. I looked up a picture. I think I think I'm going to have to be Luke Cage for my cosplay, guys. I think I'm going to have. Yeah, that'd be so sick, dude. I'm going to have to do it. I think I, I just I just thought about, like, me in the yellow shirt with my beads, with just some jeans and some Timberlands. Here you go. I think I'm going to have this sweet Christmas. Like, I think I'm going to have to make Luke Cage happen. Um, so maybe we'll do like a, a Instagram kind of like thing where we'll like show folks this piecing together my, my Luke Cage cosplay. Um, all that being said, man, thank you guys once again for joining the NFC, the Nerd Fan Club. We'll be back next month back to our debate series. Got a bunch of fun stuff, exciting things coming down the pipe. Um, we may even... Um, pick up that Avengers game and do some less plays with Martine. We'll see. Anyway, uh, appreciate you all. Thank you to Light and Life Christian Fellowship for the support and the love. Peace out.